The All-American Fencing Academy is grateful to our sponsors who are helping us bring you our on-strip, at-home video training classes. Fox Bookkeeping, helping small business owners and entrepreneurs to run their businesses with confidence by helping them know what the score is. Steve C. McCray, PA, Burlington Family Law, Divorce, and Personal Injury Attorney. Matthew Woods, VO, Professional VoiceOver Services. Hello everyone again. Um, welcome to our next class. Uh, just like before, it's going to be a structured class. You can do it one at a time, a section at a time, spread it out uh, over the next couple of days, or do it all at one time. If you do it all at one time, it's going to take about an hour, just like regular class. All right, here's our warm ups. Uh, we're going to do demonstrate before. It's going to be very similar to what we did last time, uh, but the first thing you're going to be doing is just kind of jogging in place or moving in place. So if you watch Daniel demonstrate this one, you can jog in place. If I say, Forward, he's gonna run as fast as he can, two meters forward, and then jog back. So once again, forward. Good, and just jog back. Now we're only doing two meters in the rest of the game. We're only doing two meters because I don't know how much space you might have at home. You could do this in the backyard, in a hallway, or in the driveway, uh, or in a garage, but we're, we're not taking a whole lot of space because we want you to be able to do so. Back jogging, if I say backward, he's just gonna run back in two meters and just jump back. All right, so one more demonstration. Forward. As fast as you can. Try that again. Forward. Good. And then back. Good. So he's just jogging in place, or I'll demonstrate you can, if you like, just, just nice and easy. All right? I, I like that position. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate with Isabel. Uh, Isabel, she's gonna be, uh, uh, jogging or moving in place. If I say advancing, she's going to do rapid advancing for two meters and then lunge. Good. Back to one bar. And then jogging back. So that's more than two meters. For them, two meters is just going to be this the next set of triangles. Ready? So a lot of small advances. Ready? Jogging or jogging. Same thing if I say retreating, she's going to retreat back, retreating, lunge, good, and then jog back. So whenever we go back to the middle, is jog back. So I'll demonstrate real quick, again, so if we're back here, if I say advancing, and just bounce back, if I say retreating, and just jog back, all right? We're going to do this for about a minute. So you can either, Gabe does a jogging place, I tend to just bounce like this. All right, ready? I'm gonna set my timer. We're gonna go for a minute and take, uh, let's say, a half minute break. All right, ready? Bouncing. Good. Nice and easy, nice and easy. However, you wanna keep moving forward. Bouncing. Back. And just nice and easy. Advancing. And let's say nice and easy. Retreating. Advancing. Forward. Forward. About 40 seconds elapsed. Retreating. For about 30 seconds, advancing. Nice and easy, five seconds. Backwards. Good, and rest. Now, I forgot one thing there. We didn't demonstrate yet. Uh, if you know what a burpee is, we're going to modify this burpee just a little bit. So when I say burpee, just do a jump up, go down to the push-up position, you're gonna kick out, but you don't have to do the push-up, not like a regular burpee, all right? Kick out, get your feet back in, jump back up. So if we demonstrate with game, ready? 
Perfect. Jump up. Push up position. And back. So the only thing we're leaving out is the actual push up. All right. So if I say burpee, jump up, down, kick out, go back, jump up again. All right. Ready? We took a little bit longer than 30 seconds there. We'll be ready to go in about 10 seconds. All right. Ready? And almost there. Moving. Nice and easy. If you get a chance to, I forgot to mention, make sure you try to uh, stretch out before this. I'll mention it again in, in voiceover. Forward. Good. Perfect. Retreat. Good. Advancing. Good, good lunges, good lunges. Make sure you're lunging and not a little bit. Advancing. Small advances. So it should take you a number of advances to get there. Perfect. How much time we got left? Backwards. Ten seconds left. Burpee. Rest. So I mentioned before, if you get a chance to, uh, make sure you uh, stretch before this. Uh, they were stretching. You didn't see them on camera, but they were stretching. Takes some wind out of me too. Ten seconds left. Your last set. Ready? Five, four, three, moving. Burpee. Burpee. Retreat. Make sure it's a good lunge. And they did well. I'm just reminding you guys. Advancing. Front door, so we had enough space at the front door to just be able to uh, uh, to toss it to the door and bounce it back. All right. So first practice, and I'll demonstrate. Well, well before the, the practice, I'm going to show you how to throw the ball. This is not going to be an overhand throw. You're going to be an underhand throw, so it bounces up. So when it goes to the ball, you want it to go here and bounce up a little bit. All right. If you throw it overhand, that ball is going to go straight down. It's going to go up. Hit the wall and come straight down. You don't want that, all right? You want the ball to go up a little bit so it makes it easier to catch. So you're gonna throw it up and over. You don't want to beam it at the wall. That's gonna be hard to catch too, all right? So a nice overhand. Also, if you go too high, the ball's gonna go straight down. So what that is, is the ball's going up, hitting the wall and coming straight down. You don't want that. So this first exercise, you're just gonna stand still all right, the closer your wall, you are to the wall, the harder it's going to be, all right? So if you toss it, you have to catch it pretty quick. If you're further away from the wall, you've got a little bit more time to see it, 
right? So you're just tossing to the wall with the left hand and you catch it with the right, right? Now, one last hit. If you toss the ball straight, it's gonna come back straight. You're gonna have to reach over and catch it with the right hand, for example, like that. You wanna toss it at a bit of an angle, so the angle of deflection equals angle of reflection, or angle of reflection equals angle of deflection, and it bounces, whoops, a little too high, to your right hand. All right, so we're gonna have Isabel demonstrate. She'll find her comfortable distance. And she's going to bounce the uh, ball off her left hand to her right hand. This might be easy for some people, might be difficult for some people. You can move your feet. If you have to move your feet to catch it, go ahead and catch it. There you go. So a new skill that we haven't been doing in class is catching a ball. Good. Good. Good, Gabe, your turn. So just tossing with the left hand, catching with the right hand. The closer you are to the wall, the harder it is, the further you are, the, uh, the, the more easier it is. So you want to try to get it to bounce to the right hand. Right now it's been going straight at Gabe's body and Gabe's having to catch it in the center of his chest. Let's see if you can go a little bit more to his right. There you go. Good. I'm gonna pause right there. All right. So a couple hits. Um, I think most of my kids tend to catch it on their hand like this. They're catching it like that. Uh, for some people, it might be easier if you catch it like this. All right. Now, second set. So do that for about 10 cents. Take break, 10 cents again. Uh, it just builds up a little bit of agility. Now, I want you to bounce it. Just move it. Toss it with the left hand, and you can move your feet to where you need to catch it. You can make a little harder bounce and take it down further and move your feet. Alright, so we'll have Isabel try. So she's just bouncing. Remember, you can move around now to catch the ball. Good. I think by moving around makes it a little bit easier for Isabel. Before, I think she, she thought she could just stand still and catch it. <laughs> Let's see if she can get a little bit closer to the wall, make it a little bit harder for her. I'll give it a few more. Good. And Gabe tries. So again, just use the side of a wall. We're downstairs in case you haven't figured out where we are. The harder you throw that ball, the faster it's going to come right back at you. But the slower you throw it, it's going to die on the wall. <laughs> if you ever played racquetball, those big lobbing shots, they'll die on the wall. <laughs> All right, last demonstration. And I'll do the demonstration first, Game will be behind me. All right, I'll be in front, just slightly bouncing. Now, Gabe can toss it either to the left side or right side. Remember, you, you want your partner, if you have a partner at home, to toss it overhand. You don't want to overhead it and let it come straight down. Now, I, now you can catch with either the left or right hand. Thank you. 
practice. For some people, it's not used to catch a tennis ball. That's okay. Second day, great, that's fine. Uh, we're going to do a couple of warm up footwork here. After this, we'll do Olympic footwork. Uh, we're going to be doing number three on our list for Olympic footwork. All right, so in this exercise, we're going to do 10 advances, 10 retreats. I'm sorry, 10 advances, 10 double advances, 10 retreats, 10 double retreats, 10 lunges, 10 advanced lunges, uh, and then 30 seconds on guns. All right, so first set. Uh, again, you may not have space in your house, uh, so we're going to do, instead of all 10 advances, we're going to do 5 advances, come back to where we came from, and do the next 5. Alright? Ready? I'll count them off. Ready? On guard. So, small advances. You should be able to do 5 and have plenty of space. Ready? 1, 2, 3, keep your knees bent, 4, 5. Good. You can walk back. So you shouldn't have gone all that far. Keep your knees bent. Ready? Nice and easy. Not a race. One, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're going to do double advances. All right. So double advances, start off a little bit slow, and then speed up with the back foot. Ready? So they're not big double advances. So double advances should be about as long as two advances. So double advance, not quite as far. All right, ready? So double advance, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Let's walk back to where we came from. Six, seven, eight. Relax your shoulders. Nine, ten. Good. All right, let's move up uh, about a meter from where we were. So I'll be in the middle, you say you're there, you can't go all the way to the front. Good. We're gonna do five retreats. These can be a little bigger, uh, so you might take up a little bit more space. Ready? One. Ready to retreat. Two. Three. Four. I'm probably out of the picture. Five. Good, move back up. Ready? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Move back up. Double retreats. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Move back up. Six, seven, Keep your knees bent. Eight. Try to make sure your hands out there on guard. Nine. Ten. Good. Go back to your original place that you started from. Lunges. Ten lunges. We're going to hold those lunges. Ready? Make sure you extend first. Extend. Lunge. One. Recover. Land on your heels. Go flop down the feet. Extend. Two. Good. Sounds better. Extend three. Good. Recover. Extend four. Recover. Extend five. Recover. See so if you can go a little bit longer on these lunges. Extend six. Nice. Recover. 
Extend seven. Recover. Extend eight. Recover. Extend nine. Recover. Without me saying extend. Ten. Recover. Good. Last one is ten advanced lunges. Ready? So remember, the first advance doesn't have to be completely that big. Um, there are some occasions where you have to do big advanced lunges to catch up to the person. For this one, just keep medium size. Ready? Long arm. Or you can alternate the distance this time. Ready? One. Recover. More pots and up. Ready? Two. Recover. Three. Make sure you stand first. Five. Recover. Six. Recover. Seven. Recover. So you can go a little bit longer with these lunges. Eight. Recover. A little bit longer on the advance. Nine. So the last one, we're just doing 30 second on guards. You guys ready? I'll have the timer. Bench knees, on guard. 30 seconds from snap. Relax your shoulders. Control your breathing. Control your breathing. A little down. Good, not all the way down. We're at 14 seconds. A little more down. Good. Relax your shoulders. Make sure you're not bending forward or relaxing backwards. Got about five more seconds. Good. We can go a little longer, but we're all going to do 30 seconds of the day. Good. Press. Go for about 15 second rest. seen our craft section yet go back and watch it but it's a pretty easy build um, and I'll explain what I have here in just a second um, and then we're going to do a couple exercises for people with weapons a pool noodle and without weapons uh, for this ball target if you've got a target again I've, I've shared some videos where you can create a target but the ball target uh, I have this on a pole uh, you can um, you can use the, the frame of the doorway just hang it up at the top but I have a ball uh, that's uh, that's in the middle I wrap the, the for a quick craft, I just wrap the, the, the string around the ball a number of times and tie it. Uh, but if you can, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, you could put a, uh, a hole through the ball and then 
get the string through. That way you can also adjust the height of the ball if you need to. Uh, I also like to put a counterweight over here. Um, a five on this real quick. Uh, if you don't have the counterweight and you hit that ball, that ball is going to go swinging all over the place. You have to walk forward and try to steal it. Um, if you have a counterweight and you hit the ball, it'll stay or it'll come back to its original position a lot more quicker. All right? So try to put a counterweight. If you don't, that's fine. You're, just gonna, you're probably going to have to go and, and stay with the ball. All right. So a couple different ways. This one's going to take a spot. Before we actually do the exercise on your own, if you get a chance to, uh, we did some full work uh, uh, in the beginning there just a second, but just so you're able to do some blade work with a target, practice on your own some extensions. All right? If you don't have a weapon, see how I'm just barely touching the target? So take your time with each extension. All right? So if Isabel does it with the, uh, with the pull noodle, simple extensions, make sure you remain in six. All right? Good. So with a pull noodle, make sure that you are hitting this time and you haven't bent the weapon. It, uh, the, the hand ends a little bit higher than the shoulder, so not too high. Good. Relax as well. And if you see it with the, uh, with the weapon, a little bit further distance with the weapon, hit and relax. Hit and relax. Hit and relax. Good job again. All right. You can do it with the ball. Uh, ball. So I'm not actually hitting the ball. You can, the ball will move, unlike the wall. So it doesn't hurt your fingers, all right? Make sure wherever you set the ball, it's a little bit above your shoulder. This was a little bit lower than where I want it to be, uh, but that's fine. Just extend. Uh, if you do it with a full noodle, same thing. Find your extension distance. Point and hit. Extend and hit. Extend and hit. If you do it with a weapon, Find your extension distance. So notice when I'm hitting the ball, it's not going too far. All right. Now for the last set, just kind of on your own. Um, extend and lunges. All right. So make sure when you recover for a lunge, sometimes we tend to drag our back foot and you recover, and you're going to be too close. So make sure you recover your lunge distance if you need to and lunge. So if you watch Isabel, She's just going to set up her lunge distance. You can do this with a pad. Good. I'll probably stand out of the way. Good. 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 All right. Okay. You're going to demonstrate on the ball. Just set up a lunge distance. I'll say do about 10. Good. Good. The ball definitely is a little bit harder. Good. We'll, we'll give him one more. That, that's just a warm-up part, all right? The practice I want to do today is being able to attack uh, lunge or advanced lunge when you're within distance, all right? So where you're gonna start off with is you're gonna be away from the target, outside of your lunge distance. I want you to be able to do a lot of small advances. I don't want you to slow down when you get within distance. I just want you to be able to lunge. So for example, advancing, lunge, all right? So things I don't want you to do. I don't want you advancing, slowing down, trying to find your distance, setting your distance, and then go. I want you to be able to find that as you're going forward. So if you're still new with this, smaller, slow advances, and lunge. If you want to, you can set up your lunge distance and see where it is, where you can, uh, where you can reach. Remember how far you are from target. And then as you approach that distance, remember where it is, you got too close. And go. Alright? So I don't want you to slow down. I don't want you to shorten your steps. Keep all the steps similar and then go. So if you watch this bell, she's gonna start away from target. And if you want to stop, let's set your lunch distance so you know how far it is you have to be. So she knows where her lunch distance is, she's gonna retreat from there. A little bit further. Good. She's going to do a lot of small advances, and then when she thinks she's close enough, she's going to lunge. Go. Good. Keep going. I'm going to talk. Just keep doing what I'm feeling. So the point of this is, a lot of times when we fence, we're trying to hit something when we're too far away. Or we haven't hit yet, and we're already too close. I want you to be able to advance, figure out, okay, I'm close enough. 
and then go and start your lunch. Because a lot of times when we're fencing, they're too far away, and we launch an attack with no way of being able to hit. So this exercise is practicing you being able to determine your lunch distance. Let's do it one more time. Let's do small advances. That one last time, so I was just a little skipping. Ready? Small advances. Good. Yeah, we're gonna have demonstrate game demonstrate on the on the pad as well. So small crisp advances. Good. Good. Let's try it with some preparations. If you've been with our class for a while, you can advance some preparation. Good. Good. We're going to have a practice on the on a test ball, maybe a little bit harder. Good. There you go, you got that one. Good. Go back a little bit further. Good. So this is the harder one. You've got a smaller target to hit. Good. I'll give him one more chance. So I would say do about 10 of those, okay? The next set that you're going to do is advancing into advanced lunge distance. So you have to know where your advanced lunge distance is. So for me, this is about a good advanced lunge distance without a weapon, okay? So I know it's about this far away, all right? I'm going to go back a little further, small advances, and then go, all right? So once again, the key is, Small advances, I'm doing preparation. I don't slow down, I don't stop, I go straight to my advanced slot. So if we have this, I'll demonstrate. First, maybe she wants to find her advanced lunge distance. Good, ready? And she's gonna back up away from that. It's gonna be a lot of advances, about five or six. Ready? Chris is small, go. Ah, that was just lunch. Ready? Let's try that again. So this isn't advanced, 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 advanced lunch. You've got to change it to an advanced lunch. There you go. Let's see if she can make that advanced lunch a little bit faster. Slow and quick. Big fast. That's better. Now let's see if she can hit a target on this one. Small and quick. Big and fast. Good. We're going to have a demonstrate on the ball. Ready? Small and quick, big advance. Good. Ready? Lead with a point. Just pretend you're pointing at the ball. Chances are you probably hit the ball. There you go. Give it two more. So do about 10 of these. You're just setting up an advanced lunch distance. So I'll give it one more to do. Good. Okay, you're up. Small advances, advanced lunge. And he's doing these with preparations, which is fine. If you're still relatively new to the class, you can stand on guard. Okay, now it's just a lunge, right? Ready? And he knew you did wrong. Good. You want to change your tempo. See if you can really change it so I, that, that advanced lunge is really heavy. Good. Give one more to do. Good. Now I'll give him a small target. Good, nice hit. Good. He probably got a little too close to that one. Good. Good, I'll give him one more. Small advances, big advances. Good. So, do 10 sets of advancing to find your distance and just lunge, all right? Then do 10 sets of advancing to find your advanced lunge distance. Now you wanna make sure it's not just advancing lunge. Yes, there's an advanced lunge at the end, but not the speed that we're looking for. What we're looking for is advancing advanced lunge. 
So it's a little bit bigger than the, the, the previous advances. All right, so watch that again. Advancing, advance lunge. Okay, so work on that. Do about 10 cents each, not, not 10 cents each, 10 sets each. Uh, advancing to your lunge distance, advancing to your advanced lunge distance. All right, we're gonna do one more just for fun. Um, a little bit more for the advanced students. Uh, set up a, a, a pattern of your advanced retreats. So for example, on this one, I'm gonna do double advanced, double retreat, lunge. Oh, sorry, let's try that again, ready? Double advanced, double retreat, lunge. Double advanced, double retreat, lunge. All right, maybe I can set up a different pattern. Uh, let's do advanced, double retreat, advanced lunge. Advanced, double retreat, advanced lunge. All right, we'll have Isabel uh, demonstrate. This, uh, set up a pattern of no more than four steps, finish with lunge, or an advanced lunge. Good. She did advance, double retreat, advance left. And just repeat the pattern. All right. See if she can come up with a different pattern. That's the same pattern I did. Good. She did double advance, retreat, advance left. That's fine. Good. I didn't catch all that. That was double retreat, advance, retreat, advance left. All right. Okay. Ready? I'll let you demonstrate with the pattern. All you're doing here is setting up a pattern, all right? You don't want to be too close to target. You want to manage your distance. But no more than about four sets in lunch. You got a little too close, but triple retreat, uh, triple advance, retreat, lunge. Let's try that again. That's a better distance. Ready? So triple advance, retreat, lunge. Good. Better distance. Now uh, let's um, come up with one more pattern. Advance retreat, advance lunge. Good. One more. Good. So it gives you some variations on your target. If you have a target at home and you've been practicing just hitting, great, that's fine. Um, this exercise we practice getting to that distance for lunge getting to that distance for an advanced lunge. Then the last one, um, it definitely helpful for advanced fencers, but if you're still new, you can try to come up with a pattern. You know, think to yourself in your head, hey, I'm gonna do uh, two retreats in advance and a lunge, or I'm gonna do an advanced double retreat, double advance lunge. You have to figure out your distance to do that. So find your pattern, repeat your pattern about five times, and then try another pattern, all right? Have fun with that, we'll see you in the next section. Okay, so uh, our, our full work and blade work exercise, and we're gonna lead up to uh, the lesson for today. Um, quick review of what we did before. Uh, this one will be coach initiated. We're gonna do it a couple different ways without weapon, with a pool noodle, and with weapon, all right? So, quick review. Here in front of me, So first we're gonna do this without movement. Move up a little bit. So if you remember the cues, uh, you can do this with extension distance. I open, she just extends, all right? I go after a weapon, she disengages and extends. I take a step forward so she can extend. I go under the weapon, come around to the other side, and go. So if you remember the terminology there, there's an opening, good. I parry four, she disengages, hit. I count, uh, circle six, she counter disengages and hits. We can do all the same thing with a lunge. I give an opening. Good. Remember the hand finishes higher than the shoulder. Good. Look for it. She disengages and hits. I counter disengage. All right. So we'll do one more of that. Move it around. Ready? He's waiting for the opening. All right. So this is coach initiated. I gave her the cue and she goes. So she can't do anything except follow me until I go. All right. We'll do one more. I counter disengage and go. Last thing I forgot to add in there is if I attack, she parried repost. I attack, she parried repost. All right, so let's do it with a pull noodle. So again, quick review. 
Moving around, we'll just start everything with a lunge distance. I parry four, she disengages lunge. I attack, parry me close. I circle six, she counter disengages. I open, and she goes. Alright, game, okay, you're up. So these exercises, this first set, do about 10. Move around and let them hit you 10 times. Different shape. Do, do some extensions, uh, some openings, some parry reposts, some circle six, uh, and some extensions. So I'm watching the game. If you guys, just a reminder, I'm using, if you have two weapons, don't use the other weapon. Especially if you only have one mask. Um, use a PVC pipe so they don't get their eye poked out. Alright? So, if they have, if you only have one set of equipment, have the coach with the mask on. The student has their glove and weapon. All right. If you make sure you do have a jacket that you're comfortable getting in. All right. So quick review. Move back just a little bit. Good. All right. So I give him an opening. He lunges and hits. I go after the weapon with a parry four. He disengages and hits. I'll go circle six so I get underneath and go across his weapon as a counter disengage. Or I attack, prayer equals. So again, do about 10 each. You messed up on that one. Ready? Good. Remember to give the cue when you're not moving. You don't want to do it while they're moving because that's what happens. They get messed up with, oh, I'm going backwards, now I gotta go forwards. For this one, we'll do exercise eventually while you're moving, do it when you're not moving. Alright? Good. Alright, there's a belly back up. Well, that one, pull a little. Just shortly. On guard. So, the second thing we did last week that we added to it, on guard, was one twos and do blitz. So if you remember one, two, it's a just a windshield wiper. And they're going from one side to the other. Alright, so if we watch go slowly, we'll do this at lunch distance. I do a parry four, I do a parry six, she comes back, lunch. Ready? One, two. Alright? Now we're gonna make this uh, a little bit better. We didn't cover this last time, but for the one, as she goes over to the other side, I want her to extend halfway. And then when she goes back to two, finish the extension with a lunch. One, extend halfway, so she's almost there. Two, she finishes. That way, she's not staying all the way back. One, it's all the way there. She hasn't gotten any closer. Two, and it gives me a little bit more time to see her coming. So once again, try to practice one, forward a little bit, two, all the way. Ready? One, forward a little bit, two, all the way. So that's a one, two. We can do that with movement. One, two. One, two. All right. The do play is two times around. All right. Don't mix up these two. It's a little bit harder for especially beginner coaches and beginner students too. On guard, because they have to be able to distinguish between the one, two, and, and the do play. All right. So this one we're just going to keep it separate. Make it easy. Do play is two times around. Remember, nice and small. You don't want to go big. Without a weapon, it's pretty easy. Two times around. Good. And we're going to alter that just like we did the one, two. The first time around, a little bit closer. Second time around, now you're going forward. Ready? One, two. Good. So as a coach, you're just doing that parry four, coming back around and trying again. Ready? Good. Now we're going to try with the pool. Remember, <coughs> excuse me. Keep the one, two separate and the do play separate. So once again, we're going to start off with a one, two. So she knows exactly what we're going to do. One, two. One, two. Good. Remember to extend on the one. One, two. Now we're going to do a do play. Ready? Two times around. Good. See if she can make that a little smaller. That wasn't bad. There we go. On the do plays, don't stop when you come back. Just keep going around. So here's a stop. Watch, watch this about stop. She'll stop. And two times around. All right? This time for a do blade continuous. 
One, two. There you go. One, two. Moving around. One, two. She's a little early on that lunge. Remember, do play it, extend on the first time around, finish with the lunge. Two times. Better. Get that extension. Good. One more. Good. Okay, you're up. So again, the one, two, and a juke leg. Again, keep them separate. One, two. Good. Move around. One, two. Good. We're going to do this slowly so you can see Gabe's arm and his fingers. One, two. He's using a little bit of fingers, all right? Maybe a little bit of wrist, but it's not big. He's also not doing this, all right? So the bad thing, we'll have Gabe do an incorrect thing, so big wrist movement. Incorrect, all right? So he's just doing it a little small. A little bit of fingers, a little bit of wrist, a little bit of forearm, all right? And it's keeping it as small as possible. So a little, little, uh, this is a little bit wider than a regular weapon, but it's still pretty small. He doesn't have to go around big thing. So do play, one, two. We'll go slow motion on that one. One, two. Let's see if you can start to extend after the one. The extension starts. Good, let's try that again. He's getting a little bit closer. That's better. He's a little early on that one. Ready? Good. We can do all the same exercise. We started that on guard. I did explain earlier, but we started with from the four position. Uh, or uh, actually, he's in the sixth position, I'm in the sixth position. We're both targeting the four, right there. All right? You can start all of this from the opposite position. So now I'm in the four position and Gabe's in the sixth position. Gabe, move over this way so you're facing me. So they can be able to see this a little better right there, right there, right there. On guard. So just so you have a better angle, both starting from the sixth position is what we were just doing. So if I gave him an opening, good. I went for the weapon. Good. Counter disengage. Good. I attack. Good. The one, two. Good. And the duple. You can do all of this from starting from the four position on guard. So it helps because not all the time you want to attack in the same spot. You might want to attack in different areas. So from there, I can give him an opening. He goes in. So he's now finishing on that side of the weapon. A lot of people, they see this and they automatically, because they're so used to it in here, I give them the opening and what they're going to try to do is they're going to come around to try to find it there. That's the only one. We're going straight. Ready? So both are in the four position. I give them the opening. He goes straight. Same thing. I can windshield wiper this way or parry six. He disengages and goes. If I circle four, he counter disengages and goes. If I attack, Parry repo. So I'm back, you see him try to do that disengage. Ready? Try it again. Ready? Parry six and go. All right. We can do two blades from here too. One, two. We're just landing on the opposite side. Circle, uh, do blades. Ready? One, two. Good. And then do blades. Good. All right. Back here. So the last part of the exercise, I'm going to have Gabe do this first and Isabel will do it with the, uh, with the pool noodle. You can take everything and just add it all together. So do it slowly, you don't have to do it super fast, but see if you can add a lot of different moves together. For example, I can give him an opening, he recovers, I attack, he does a pair of repos. Immediately I circle, I come back, good, you can move around. Here you can add in the one, two, the duple. It doesn't matter which one, but do it slowly so he can see it. If you're going to do a duple, it still keeps moving. He knows it's, if it keeps moving, then he's going to have to do it again. If I stop and come back, it's a one, two. All right? So you don't have to go fast. We can do this fast. But for you at home, keep it slow so that everyone kind of knows what they're doing. Good. 
So we, went, we didn't do that fast, but we kept the rhythm going. The hard part is, as a coach, you have to try to tell yourself, okay, what am I going to do next? And finding your own rhythm, finding your own pattern. It's like, a, it's like a dance you have to try to figure out and have a choreograph all at one time. Okay, we're going to bring Isabella. up. This time we're going to start, every, everything with Gabe started from the sixth position. We're going to start Isabel from the fourth position. All right? There's a duple and attack. I can attack from far away, make her lunge. I can make her parry. Good. I can make her parry or disengage again. So I did it slow enough, she knew I was doing a one, two. I can move again. Good. I kept going. Uh oh. He got that one wrong. Good. Good. Alright. So, on um, that exercise, it's just a kind of a quick review of what we did last time. Uh, you can do starting from the sixth position, or you can start it from the fourth position. Alright? Give that some practices, about 10 movements each, just so we remember what we worked on last time. Okay, we'll see you in the next section. Okay, uh, we're still in the kind of the same review. If you remember me mentioning it last time, it was coach initiated. This time it will be student initiated. We're gonna do one skill at a time, all right? So this time, with the student initiating, coach will follow. I won't have to do advanced retreats, I'll just walk, all right? The first one, she's just gonna set up her lunge distance and she's gonna lunge whenever she wants. It's not gonna be slow lunge, she's going to explode to target. All right? I don't have to do anything. I just have to take a hit. Ready? So I'll follow her. I'm just walking. You're so tight. All right? Let's try that again. All right? So she's not the coach. She got mistaken there. All right? You're, you're just launching an attack. All right? I'm not going to give you a cue to give the attack. Good. See if she can make that look faster. So now she's not waiting for a cue. She's just going, all right? And do one skill at a time. So this time we're gonna do a faint to see. All right, so now I know when she faints, I have to pair it, all right? So I'm following her once again. You have to make sure there's a faint. Good, that faint is with the extension, not the foot. She did well over there, ready? Try a few more times, my mistake. Faint with a hand, or faint with a weapon. See the paint, I know I have to pair it. Alright? Now the one, two. Alright? Against uh, again student initiated. From here, from the four position, uh, from the sixth position where she's standing on guard. The one, she's halfway there, two to hit. As a coach, I don't have to do anything. I just have to stay in the on guard and six. Ready? Ready? I'm following her. One, two. Alright? So again, coach, you're not telling them when to go. They go on their own. One, two. All right? Now the last one is a duple. She's going to extend for the feint. I'm going to circle. And I'm going to go around again. All right? So this time, she's going to feint again. She initiates. I circle. I miss. And I go around one more time. Now we're going to do a boom. Good. She held back that lunch. That was fine. My fault. Good. We're going to have Gabe demonstrate. This time, we'll start it from the four position. All right? All right. All Gabe has to do is lunge on this one. I follow him. All he has to do is Lunge fast and hit. Ready? He's attacking in sixth position. Good. This time it'll be a feint. I will have to parry. All right. So we're doing one skill at a time. Again, do about ten of these each, or five, whatever you have time for. Feint to see. He's leading with that point. He's extending feint and then go. All right. Now for the one-two, 
on top. He's in, we're both in the four position, which means he's going to disengage and go. All right? One, two. Almost like a faint seat. One, two. Ready? Move it around. One, two. Now let's do a new blade. Ready? So again, we're both on guard in four. He's going to extend. I'm going to parry six, two times around and go. Ready? Try to think. Ready? Good. A little harder to go fast with this, with this PVC pipe. Ready? Moving around. Two blades on your people. Ready? A little early there. Um, try from either starting from the sixth position, I'm sorry, yeah, on guard in sixth position or the on guard in fourth position. All right, if you have any questions, give me a call. I'll see you in the next section. All right, uh, welcome to the tactical part of the lesson uh, or tactical part of the class on guard and stuff. So, this is the lesson that we're working on today. Sometimes, if we just go for the attack, definitely if we go for the attack, our, our opponent will probably try to defend, all right? Maybe we're unable to get past that defense. Uh, you can try a disengage to get through it. Um, you can try to react accordingly and try to take it back, all right? We're gonna do a version of that, on guard. So let's say Isabel has been attacking. I'm able to get that parry repost, ready? She attacks. I'm able to get that parry repost. One option for her might be to just paint the seat. That's an option, right? Here's an option that we can do. We can give a false attack, allowing them to parry and allowing them to repost, but our real motive is being able to take it back. So if I do it against Isabel, we'll do the slow motion. I know she's gonna parry repost. I want her to parry repost. So Coaches, you're going to present, or for this example, the student will present the attack, allow them to parry, allow them to start the repost, but you have to be able to expect that and take it back. All right? So on this one, you'll do a maybe a short lunge or a medium lunge. Fast, you still want them to believe it's an attack, let them take the parry, but be prepared to take it right back. So we're going to do this thing at medium speed. Isabel, at some point, it's going to be up. I'm going to go, not go all the way. Be prepared to take it back. All right? Good. All right, now we're going to do it with movement. Good. Good. So she's giving that half lunge to make it look like a real attack. Then she's prepared to take it back. Some mistakes here on guard. Some common mistakes here is just doing this. A lot of times, if, the, if your opponent doesn't see the body movement, they're not going to believe it. So if we're moving around, and Isabel just extends, I might not do it. Right? I don't believe it's actually going to hit me. For this to work, it's like a magic trick. You have to make your opponent believe you're going after them. Make them parry, take it back. So this is a false attack, taking a parry, or uh, letting them take a parry, they go for the repost, and then go again. All right? Now you can go a little bit longer on the attack. You're just going to be have to, you're going to have to be a little bit quicker off the parry reason. So this time as well, long attack, trying to hit me, but knowing you have to take it back. Ready? Good. Also, something now you may have not seen it. When she launched that attack, she launched that attack with the anticipation that she's going to get stopped, and she immediately went after my weapon. I want her to go after me first. All right, try again. Good. So you can lunge a little bit further. Good. Move it around. She's really trying to hit me, but knowing that you have to take it back. Good. 
So you are anticipating that they're going to take it back from you. Alright? You don't want to give it your whole effort on trying to get that attack. Good. Like I said, some of the common mistakes here is, I'm guard, I'll start. Alright? The first attack looks like this. You're expecting to, make it, to get stopped. You want to make it real. So if you go there, uh, they may not buy it. So the attack has to look real. Let them take it. Sorry, try it again. My fault. Let them take it. Take it back and go. All right. We're gonna do this with game. All right. So once again, there's gonna be movement. Game's gonna give me the false attack, knowing full well that I'm gonna take it. He's going to have to take it back. So remember, the false attack is not this. This is showing them the target. You want them to believe you're going forward again. All right? Ready? Go. Good. He didn't move on that one, so make sure it's a little bit of a line. Make sure the first attack is coming towards me, not out there. Good. Good. All right. So this tactical exercise is good. You don't every, every time you attack, you don't necessarily have to go after the person. So tactically, this is a second intention attack. You're not intending to hit on the first action. That's bait. You're giving them the bait. Let them take the parry repost. Sometimes you just want to go ahead and take the parry repost. If you know how they're going to parry repost, you can always come back and take it. So in this exercise, this one's a little bit, you have to have a partner. Um, you're giving a false attack to allow them to parry repost. Now you know, okay, there's a parry repost I expected. I'm going back. You don't want to give everything on your first shot. This is knowing they've been doing a parry repost. I'm going to allow them to take it. I'm going to take it back. All right? So that's the skill exercise for today, relatively simple. Um, again, if uh, during the week you can go back to any of these exercises and do it, uh, you can go back to some of our, uh, the homework exercise that we did at the, always at the beginning of class, uh, I'll share the link to the video for that one. You can always try some of the other previous Olympic full work that we did. Uh, so hope everyone's healthy, hope everyone's safe. Uh, there's actually one more section, so we'll get to that. All right, welcome to our last little fun section, a little cool down. I uh, hope you guys had fun today. I can't figure out if we've been working an hour. We've been working for a lot longer than an hour uh, because we're, we're putting all the different parts of this video together. Um, but hopefully it's been about an hour for you guys. All right, last section. Uh, you can probably do this with without a weapon. So let me borrow that real quick, all right? You can probably do this with just your, your finger or two fingers on guard. So on this one, you're just extending. You're gonna to toss the, if you, hopefully you have a, I'm trying to use stuff that you can find at home where you don't have to go out and get anything. This is just a, a roll of tape. So if you've got some masking tape, uh, just a roll of masking tape will work just fine, all right? When you toss it, try not to toss it like this, like a horseshoe, because if you toss it like this, it's gonna spin around like this, all right? When you toss it, you want to give it a little bit of spin so it will stay like this. What Isabel has to do is be able to extend and catch it with her fingers. All right? Ready? So two fingers. Good. Yeah, simple. Just like that. Ready? One time. Good. All right? So masking tape works great. Big roll of duct tape. You might jam your fingers, so try not to do that. You can try it with a lunge, so I can be a little further. Remember, spin it as you toss it to her. Good, let's try it again. Good, now, so that's without a weapon. You can do it without a weapon, all right? Pool noodles, you can't do it with pool noodles. So if you've got a PVC pipe, remember, uh, for the kids that use my weapons from the rack, the older ones, uh, in my teen and adult class, the weapon is 35 inches long. So this is about 35 inches long. Uh, I usually have to space about five inches for a total length of 40 inches, right? If they are in my little kids class, 
Uh, it is 32 inches long for the blade and about 5 inches for the grip. Alright, so Isabel, all right. Let's try it with just an extension. Ready? Good. I throw it too high. Part of this is you have to track it, all right? You don't want to get it right where the tip is, and now you have to move it. Try to track it as it's coming in. There you go. Now we're going to try it with a lunge. Probably a little hard. Ready? Oh, she was so close. So remember, you want to toss it with a little bit of spin. That was too high. Not chopping it forward. That time as she started to lunge, she was trying to go this way. She's got to leave at that point. She was close. I'll give her one more try on that one. She was right there. All right. Okay, you're up. So with a weapon, on guard. No lunges, just an extension. Move up just a tad. Good, right there. Move this one. All right, just an extension. I crush my thing. Ready? Good. Right it's close.